now we have performed all the crud operation we have seen advanced crud we have seen pagination we have seen how to search using form we have seen how to search the data using model how to insert using model how to edit and also how to view the data of the user we have performed all these actions now only thing the final part we are left is how to display the messages if i am updating the user i want to display the message if i am adding new user i have to update the message and also when i am deleting the user i have to display the message deleting we have already seen how to display now we are just going to add some stylings for that and now we are going to write the code for that one now we are going to perform for updating and deleting okay whenever i update the update message should be displayed whenever i add the user the adding message should be displayed okay now we are going to write that one now inside index.php we have already created this diff container while we were deleting the user below this below this php i have created this diff container and for this i have given the class as display message now inside script.js now whenever i click on the form okay whenever i click on submit only then the user will be added and whenever i click on submit the user will be updated okay based on the condition we have already seen whenever i click on this form submit button only then the user will be added now when i click on this edit user submit button the user will be updated so i have to come inside form okay now here inside this wherever we have written form event let me just come on top here we have written this add form event now below this i'm just going to create one variable let me just write here message and inside this first i'm just going to access the user id okay inside form.php let me just open that one inside form.php we have created this two input fields and inside one input field i have given this id user id i'm just going to access that one here now here i'm just going to paste that id user id dot okay now instead inside this if i am having some value okay if i am having some id so i am just going to check the length here okay if my length of that id if it is greater than 0 okay if the length is greater than 0 which means that the id is present now when id will be present when i am updating the user the id will be present for me when i am not updating the user the id will not be present for me so here i am just checking the condition if my user id dot value if its length is greater than 0 only then i have to display this message user has been updated successfully i have to display this message or else i just have to display user is been added successfully let me just come here i'll just write this colon okay this is ternary operator now here i'm just going to write here new user has been added successfully i'll save this okay this is the variable i have created message inside this i'm just accessing the id now whatever value i'm having i'm checking the length if it is greater than zero which means that the id is present i have taken the id and i am updating the user so id will be there with me so that time i have to display this message user has been updated successfully if i am not having okay if it is less than zero which means that my id is not there and in the form i am adding the data inside the database so here i have to write new user has been added successfully now once it is done while clearing the form and also while resetting the form whenever i click on submit button here i am accessing all the users now below this i just have to write this one okay the way i have written for deleting i just have to write here now here what i am going to do is first i am just going to access this one i will come to index.php i will just copy this class and here i am just going to paste that class now for this one inside html i just have to display this message let me just come on top okay this message okay this is been stored inside this variable i'm going to copy this and here i'm just going to paste that one then i just have to fade in okay i don't want to display it forever i just want to fade in and also i'm just going to give some delay delay let me just write here 3000 or uh, 2500 and finally i have to do fade out okay if you are aware of little bit of jquery then you will be aware of this one what is this fade in and fade out you don't have to worry if you just know the basics then you will get to know this one okay this is how we are just going to display the message now here i am having all these things now inside this for deleting also we have done the same thing you can see here inside html directly i have passed this one okay directly i have passed the message because here i am not checking any condition directly i am deleting the user so inside html directly i am passing this message then i have done here fade in delay and fade out then finally i am calling all the get users function okay i have called this get users function okay and this is how we are just going to display the message okay whenever i am having id user will be updated when i am adding new user this new user is been added let me just write here colon i'll just refresh this one 
I'll just click on this edit. Let me just add here one to submit. Now you can see user has been updated successfully. Now after that particular seconds, that message will be disappearing. Okay, that message will be disappeared. Now I'm going to add new user. Let me add here Sia. submit now you can see new user has been added successfully okay this is how i'll be getting the message and after that particular time the message is going to be disappeared okay if i am having the id then the user is updated if i am not having id then the user will be added and also while deleting this one let me just delete this ramesh okay you can see user has been deleted successfully now let me just add some stylings for that inside index.php now here i am having this one this diff container now for this i'm just going to give some stylings now here first i just want to display the message in center so i'm just giving here text center and also i'm just going to write here bg dark okay my background color should be dark and also text light okay whenever my background color is dark i have to give the text light and also some margin bottom of three i'll save this okay this is the stylings i have just given because i just want to give some stylings there i have just added some stylings text center bg dark text light and some margin bottom now let me just come here now here i am having this output now if i just edit this one let me write here one two one two one 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 two or some random number submit now you can see user has been updated successfully okay the stylings has been applied and here i am having this message now when i delete this user okay you can see user has been deleted successfully again when i add this new user Now you can see new user has been added successfully. Okay, this is how we are going to display the message and also we using this fade in and fade out and delay. We are just going to delay the message fade in and fade out. Okay, okay, using that one, we are just going to disappear the message. This is all about displaying the messages. We are done with this project. Now final part, I'm just going to revise entire thing, whatever we have done because revision is important. Without revision, without revising anything, we are not going to remember anything. So I'm just going to revise entire thing from starting till now whatever we have done and then finally I'm just going to close this project.